Hi there, my name is Aaron Short and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to compare a small, medium and large Martin guitar. So since I currently have an OM Standard Series, an M36 Standard Series and also an HDC28 Standard Series here, I want to compare all three. I'll play an example on each of them and when I come back I'll let you know what I think about the feel, the size, how they feel to play and also the sound of these guitars in the room. And please do me a favor and wear some good headphones and let me know in the comments below which guitar you prefer the sound of or what differences you hear in the guitars. It'll be really interesting. If you're new here, please subscribe and ring the bell, but let's get started.
Okay, so what did you think? Please let me know in the comments below. This is a tough one. First of all, a few things about the three guitars. So the OM28 has the Bags Hi-Fi pickup installed. I, just want, I want to be completely transparent about what's in each guitar. The M36 has nothing in it. And the HDC 28E, well, bear in mind, it does have the colorway. And it also has the Bags Anthem. It had the full Anthem, but I pulled that out and installed the SL. And I've hidden the controls. It looks super clean. But there is still an Anthem in there and a battery compartment. So if you think these things affect the tone, then you should be aware of that. But let me talk through each guitar in turn. I'll just tell you how I feel in the room. This is really difficult because they're all more similar than different. And yet they are different. And the feel of them is probably the most different. So the OM is just amazing. This particular one has a very scooped sound. It sounds very woody and natural. It's pretty loud for the size. It's just incredibly comfortable. I mean, I'm 6'5", but if you look at me hold the guitar, it's so comfortable. This is the ultimate couch guitar, which can still hang with any other guitar. It sounds great. And like I said, this one strums really well. It's got volume. It does strumming well, finger picking well. It's just a really cool guitar and you don't really hear i don't really hear what i'm missing until i play the other guitars so it might help to switch to the other ones but the main thing about this guitar if you're shopping right now is that it's super duper comfortable because your arm goes right over it and it's just like a part of you it just kind of it's like an electric guitar it feels amazing so this is a great option that's why people like john mayer play these guitars because he plays electric guitar and this feels like he's playing a strat or now a silver sky, I'm sure. So this is a great example of an OM28, but when we get to the other guitars, we might see what's lacking. Let's find out. Let's switch to the M36. So if you look now, it still looks pretty comfortable, right? Remember, I am 6'5", I've got long arms, but it's still comfortable. The whole guitar is bigger. It's actually the size on the face of a jumbo, but the depth of that other guitar, the OM. So it's still very thin. My arm is just now a bit higher up which I actually quite like. I like that. And then the sound of it, well, instantly you get more volume. So when you compare these two, this is louder to me in the room. I'm not sure how it'll come across on the video, but this is a louder guitar. And I feel I can dig into it harder for that reason. It, it, it takes more uh, of the hard strumming. And then the finger style was also louder. So that's why this is such a popular model and yet kind of not really talked about. It is unique and it is not your classic om28 or hd28 this is your in between m36 it's not as famous it's a very unique sound compared to the other two the other two have a bit more of a reverby scoopy reverb it's like you're playing you know with a reverb effect on or something really nice full sound that you kind of get lost in this is a bit drier this feels more immediate so this is basically like let's say this is the uh, hd28 cut in half which it isn't, but let's say that's what they've done. You feel it, you feel like the sound is hitting you quicker with less bass. So you feel like there's less low end and you feel like it's more immediate because it's kind of not hidden by the low end. But also I do feel like the sound is not kind of reverberating throughout the guitar as much as the others. It's kind of more immediate and drier and you might not like that as much. I like it, but I also like that reverby tone of the other. I'm not sure what causes this, but the other two guitars have a bit more of a kind of, yeah, you know, like a natural reverb that really gets you lost in it. This is more of a no-nonsense, like in-your-face, punchy, punch-in-the-face guitar, which is cool too. I really, in the comparisons, I really like the volume of this, the way the volume jumped up, especially on the finger style, over the OM28. And the strumming, like I said, is different, different kind of sound, but I do feel this has more headroom. I do feel I can lay into it more. And if you watch me play, I play pretty aggressively with a one mil pick. So that's why I've become a fast fan of this model, the M36. Definitely worth trying, but I do feel it sounds very different to the others. Also, if you look at the bracing inside, because of the three piece back, it's slightly different. So that could be affecting the sound as well. I used to feel the same way about the D35, which has the same bracing, but non-scalloped. And I used to find that too kind of dry sounding, but that was non-scalloped and this is scalloped. So maybe that's why I prefer this over the D35 and yet still find it very different to the other two. Let's go to the HDC28 now. So like I said, bear in mind, you have a cutaway here, a pickup under the saddle. Is that affecting the sound? Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I don't think it is, but 
that's up to you to decide. We have many other videos to talk about that stuff. But the strings on here are also 12s. Now, many people put 13s on the Dreadnought. You can put 13s on the OM as well, but many Dreadnoughts do come with 13s, which instantly will give you an even bigger sound. But you might not want that sound. These are 12. So these are the same strings on all three guitars, by the way. This guitar is just awesome. It has that reverby sound with a good amount of volume because of the size of it. But the thing that I don't like about it is, well, it doesn't feel anywhere near as comfortable. Look where my arm is now. <laughs> now my arm is higher up and further out. So it definitely doesn't feel as comfortable as the other two. That's really worth considering when you're buying a guitar about the size of it. And this is the least comfortable. But this has that classic Martin sound, which to me is that big, I don't say boomy, this isn't a boomy guitar, but it's a, got a big low end, a big reverby, lush sound. It's got a lot of volume to it and you can really strum this because it's a dreadnought. You can really lay into it. So that's really good for the way that I play. But the only reason I wouldn't reach for this every time is because of this size, the depth of it. So if you haven't got long arms, I don't think you're going to like these. But like I said, if you do play one of these and you do find it comfortable, let me know in the comments why that is or what kind of body shape you play. I'd be interesting to hear that. But this is definitely the least comfortable, but this has a really remarkable sound. It really does sound great. I hope it comes across on the video. My personal conclusion is basically that the OM and the HD sound very similar in tone, but obviously the HD is just bigger, louder, and also got more kind of stuff going on because the whole box is bigger. The M36 for me does sit between them, but also has a different tone. So I really think if you're going to buy one of those, you should try one in person and compare it yourself to make sure you like that tone, that more immediate, less reverby tone, at least on that guitar that I was playing. That's what I feel about it. But its unique voice does sound very good as well. I really like it. I've been playing that guitar a lot. The guitar I play the least of these three would be the OM28. But that's not to say it's a bad guitar. It's just that the M gives me more power for my heavy strumming. And the main reason I play this guitar is the cutaway and the pickup. This is a great guitar to take to open mic, take traveling, take anywhere, because you can plug it in with the anthem and the anthem sounds really good in this. So this is a great all round guitar, which is why I play it so much. But with the M36, I love the power and comfortable size and I haven't got a pickup in there at all just to keep it completely acoustic. And then with the OM, it does sound great, but I think I want a bit more power. And that particular OM doesn't have as much power as these two guitars. So. There isn't really a clear winner. They all sound different enough to be unique and they all feel different enough in size to be unique. At the end of the day, it's very hard to find an OM that sounds like a Dreadnought because of the physical size of them. It's just physics at that point. So the question is, which guitar would you choose? If I had to choose between these three right now, it would be this or the M36. And I'm only saying this because of the pickup. So if there wasn't a pickup in this, I think the M36, at least today I would choose that. But my question to you is, have you compared these which one is your favorite in my recordings and which one is your favorite that you've played and how do you feel about small medium and large guitars do you have a preference either way or do you own all three and all i can say at the end of this video is once again when you compare three different guitars back to back you just end up highlighting the good and bad in each one and it's very rare for me to have a favorite but i hope that i did come to a conclusion today and i hope you enjoyed the video if you're new here please subscribe and ring the bell and i look forward to seeing you next time Bye bye